Right now, heat alerts are in place in several parts of Texas. Now, I want to show you a map to, sh to see all these expected highs today and tomorrow. People in Texas are going to see temperatures over 100 degrees up and down the state. CBS News correspondent Janet Chamlian is in Houston, Texas, braving this heat for us. Janet, you're a trooper. Give us an idea of just how hot it is for you out there. Well, it's in the 90s now. It's going to rise about 10 degrees or more, but it's going to feel a lot hotter than that. I'm downtown, Discovery Green Playground. Usually it's packed this time of day, but let me show you something. To test the temperature on the ground, it's showing me 148 degrees right now. Ooh. So that is why there's nobody in here with their children. It's extremely dangerous. And what people are doing, I'm going to... Dwayne, can we walk over here a little bit? I'm going to show you um, where a lot of people are sort of camping out instead of the playground. This is a splash pad downtown Houston. Let me get my shoes off here. There we go. Yeah, so, you know, if you want to cool off, there are some of these around town. This is where people are coming, you know, to try to get some relief from the heat, but it's not easy. And not everybody has access to this, and not everybody has access to air conditioning. Uh, the ground here, 95 degrees, but it's wet, so I'm not feeling as hot as 95 degrees. But it's extremely dangerous. They're opening cooling centers here, not just in Houston, but across southeast Texas, guys. And we're supposed to have this heat for another 24 hours at least until the temperature starts dropping and we get some rain this weekend. Janet, I'm so thankful you're using the thermometer to demonstrate that even in the water, if you're lucky enough to have space like this, it's still 95 degrees. What are some of the other yeah. things officials are doing to help people who maybe don't have access to this? Well, let me tell you about HISD, the Houston Independent School District. They are moving whatever practices they can for sports after school, and that's going to be the hottest time of the day today. Inside, that's even football practice in some cases, soccer practice, band practice. Um, the cooling centers are open, and you know they're just putting out advisories for people to, to try to stay indoors or get some relief where they can. Errol, yeah. Lana? It looks like that family that quickly abandoned the playground behind you has now relocated over to the, to the cooler area. Glad to see it. Stay cool yourself, Janet. Thank you. Thanks.